Good morning and Merry Christmas. I hope you've had a wonderful morning so far. Thank you for joining us. We'll begin our service with the lighting of our Christ candle and the pouring of the water. God, light of the world. Jesus, living water of life. Holy Spirit, power divine, we praise your holy name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. It's with respect and gratitude for the original custodians of this land that we gather together this day to affirm in hope and faith that we can create a sacred space of welcome for all who live in Canada. For thousands of years, Indigenous people have walked in this land on their own country. Their relationship with the land is at the center of their lives. We respectfully acknowledge that we are in the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, specifically the Chippewa, Ojibwe, and Kutuwatumi peoples, past, present, and their emerging leaders. We also respect their stewardship of this land throughout the ages. And we recognize and give thanks that we humans are creatures on this earth, living in the ecosystem. Flowers, trees, and insects, land, water, and mountain ranges unique to us. May we honor one another and honor life itself. The heart of a spoke of pastoral charge is a safe place for all people to worship regardless of your race, creed, age, cultural background, or sexual orientation. So let us celebrate the richness and diversity of life. Our op opening hymn for this morning is number 44, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. Yeah. 
Christ is born. And so we light this candle amidst the ones that have illumined our way through Advent. This candle reminds us of the light of the world born on this day, born every day in our hearts and in the living of Christ's way of love, compassion, and justice. Come and sing a new song to God, for God has done wonderful things. God brings justice and salvation. God's faithful love is for everyone. God's, God tells everyone to sing songs of joy in praise to God. For, us, for to us a child is born, Jesus the light of the world. Let us pray. On this day of days, loving God, we gather to celebrate the wondrous gift of Jesus Christ, born long ago and still today child of the universe present among us. May we, in the things we do and say, continue to give birth to the presence of the living Christ in our world today and always, as we pray together, saying, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Join with us now as we sing hymn number 38, Angels We Have Heard on High.
Well, I'm happy to tell you that even though it's Christmas Day, Sprock is still happily snoring behind me here, so nothing has changed in our little house. <laughs> well, may we open ourselves to the seeds of wisdom that lie dormant in this reading, and may our minds be fertile soil in which it may grow strong and true. This morning, our scripture reading comes from Psalm 98. It's entitled, Praise the Judge of the World. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King of the Lord, before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with equity. May the Spirit bless us with wisdom and wonder as we ponder the meaning of these words for our lives. Let us pray. We offer you a new song, God. It is a song of thanksgiving, a song of regret, a song of passion, a song of praise, a song of lament, and sometimes it's a song of joy. We thank you for the ways in which you hear our prayers, whatever their tone. Amen. Well, our Advent journey has brought us to Christmas Day. How has your day been so far? Were you awakened early by the excitement of young voices ringing through your home? Your alarm clock ringing, telling you it's time to get up to get that turkey in the oven? Christmas Day can be an overwhelming day of food, sugar, and excitement. Today is also filled with memories. Memories of past celebrations when you were younger. Or perhaps when your children were younger. When life might have perhaps been simpler. It is a day filled with thoughts of loved ones who will not sit with you at your Christmas table. It could also be a day that is just like the rest. Do you even recognize what has changed with the birth of this baby boy? On this Christmas day, we hear in our Psalm reading that the call for all of creation to witness God in our own individual understanding. We are encouraged to take up a song of praise to God. This song is one of awe, awe of God who comes to us in Jesus to bring a new kind of justice, one of mercy, fairness, and compassion. Our psalm reading calls us to praise God with a new song and to shout out with joy at God's steadfast love. So today, and every day, may we hold fast to the good news and lift our voices in praise to the God of our own understanding. Let us sing out in joy as we celebrate this day of days. Let us celebrate the wondrous gift of Jesus Christ, born long ago and still in us today. May we, in all the things we do and say, continue to give praise to the presence of the living Christ in our world, today and forevermore. Amen. Please join us in singing hymn number 58, Infant Holy, Infant Lowly.
have a special mission and service Christmas me message for you today. After Mary, Joseph, and the shepherds and the angel have been placed just so, Jesus is finally laid gently in the manger. There's always a sacred pause at that moment, the moment when we are reminded that the power of all creation became one with us and changed the world through the most vulnerable among us. The story of Jesus' birth serves as a reminder that the Spirit speaks to us through the voices of those who are on the margins, those without power, privilege, and influence. Through mission and service, <clears throat> excuse me, we as a united church commit to support those on the margins, whether in our advocacy work, emergency response, or justice programming, your generosity helps us collectively act in the way of Jesus. As a church, we are transformed in the process, learning from our partners and growing in our call. As our creed says, we believe in God who has created and is creating, the word made flesh to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the spirit. At its heart, Christmas is a celebration of new life through the birth of a child and the most vulnerable of beings. It's ultimately a story about hope. Hope that the Spirit will come to life even in the most challenging times and that something sacred will be born in you because of it. I have hope that what, Je I have hope that what Jesus promised us is true. Hope that whatever two, whenever two or three of us are gathered in the name of the Creator, that our prayers will be heard. When we stay in the place of hope, we are creative and can solve prob problems really, really well. Thanks be to the Creator for that, because together we have some work to do, says moderator Cameron Lansdowne. If you haven't already, please consider giving to our Christmas appeal. Thank you for your generosity to mission and service and for all the work that can be done and all the hope that is born as a result. May God's wonder and grace enfold you and those you love this Christmas season. We move now to our prayers of the people. O God, loving parent of all, who gave joy to the world and the newborn hope of Christ, may we find that this story with angels singing the good news of peace on earth, all because Mary had a baby, is just the beginning of what the world needs most. Inspire us to find your story still being told on silent nights after silver bells have gone quiet for this good news of a Savior born to us this day reaches beyond this one day to change all of our days. Allow the story of this good news to change the story of our lives, O God. Make it not just so that we love to tell the story, but that we learn to share the amazing grace of our compassion and love. In hearing this story again, told in so many ways, may we remember that we are part of your story too. Amen. Please join me in singing hymn number 35, Good Christian Friends Rejoice. Oh, oh, oh. 
Go and proclaim God's message of peace, good news, and salvation. Sing for joy and say to the world, your God reigns. Let's go out and proclaim it on the mountains, in the valleys, in the cities and village streets, beside the oceans and streams, in the forests and the open fields, in school and parks and workplaces. Let's go out and tell the good news. Jesus Christ is born. blessing to end our service this morning we'll be singing go tell it on the mountain number 43 Merry Christmas from Sprocket and I, and all the best to you in 2023. May God's blessings be upon you and all those that you love. Have a wonderful day and a fantastic new year.